Now, it's been one year since I started using my Jeepo Super Lite, and so far, I have been very happy with the mouse. It exceeded my expectation in what I need in a very good lightweight gaming mouse. As you can see, my unit is very well used. The coating has started to wear off. Even the coating at the mouse wheel rubber has started to fade away. However, around 3 months back, a very interesting mouse was on sale for Lazada for around $30. And that was the Dulux M800 Pro. Now, to no surprise of anyone, the shape is literally like a slightly bigger Viper Mini. And the plastics and the mouldings are also very similar to the previous M800 non-pro version. There's literally no change and the coating is just hard plastic. The sides, there are plastics which have textures on it. This helps in terms of you gripping the mouse. Now, another thing I forgot to mention earlier is that the difference between the original M800 and the pro version, which is this one, is that this uses the new upgraded sensor, the 3370 sensor. Also, the switches are now using KL 8.0 instead of the 4.0. But let's get back to why you guys are really here, which is comparing this cheapo mouse with my high-end Logitech G4 Super Lite. Now, right off the bat, clearly you can see that the G4 Super Lite is clearly the larger mouse. It is literally longer, has a bigger hump, and also actually wider compared to the M800. Now, in terms of ergonomic feel in hand, I feel like if you're planning to pump the mouse, the Logitech is definitely the better mouse. However, claw grip, both is actually very fine and usable. Now, let's compare the mouse switches. Now, in terms of switches, both the Omron 20s and the Kiel 8.0 are very good switches. However, if I were to compare, the Kiel is similar to something like a blue switch, while the Omron is smoother, something like a linear red switch. In terms of side buttons though, the Logitech is clearly better. Now, let's look at the build quality. Now, as you guys can hear, there's a bit more rattle from the M800 compared to the Super Lite. The rattle is mainly the scroll wheel which is not really solid. Um, but however, in terms of usage, it doesn't really affect it. Now, another part of the mouse which is the Logitech is clearly better is the mouse fit. Now, the Logitech Super Lite mouse fit is not exactly the best in the industry right now, but it is still better than the uh, M800 mouse fit, which I'm not even sure if it's uh, PTFE. Now, in terms of the scroll wheel and the scroll button, I think it becomes very clear. Lah. The M800 Pro, the, the scroll wheel and the button is fine, but it feels a bit more stiff, um, be it for turning or pressing the button. The Logitech feels a lot more smoother, and the uh, buttons are, scroll wheel button are definitely easier to press. At the end of the day, this is the gaming mouse. And the most important question that we need to ask is, how does it perform in games? Honestly, I feel that the performance between this mice and the Super Lite is actually more or less the same. I mean, it's a modern gaming mouse. This is a very good sensor. Another thing I noticed about the sensor is that I have to comment is that there's a bit of uh, sensor deviation. Like, it feels a bit faster at 800 dpi. It feels faster than the Super Lite. Uh, the weight also is not perfect like the Super Lite. The Super Lite is lighter, and number one. And number two is that it has a perfect front-to-back weight distribution. This actually feels a bit more back-heavy. So it does make the mouse feel heavier than it seems. But honestly, when I play games, after of two or three rounds using it, you feel right at home. And I do enjoy that it's smaller, especially when you're claw gripping the mouse. Now, I'm just going to go through a bit about the RGB. Now, the lower part you can see is actually addressable RGB with good diffusion. But the top and the scroll wheel is actually just regular RGB, meaning only single color. And another thing I'm going to touch is actually about the software. The software is just a basic software you can download. There's a link. Um, I'm leaving the link right in the description down below. You can do the basic thing, adjust the DPI, micro and whatnot. But the special thing is that you can adjust lift off distance of the mouse. So that might be useful, especially if you're a low sensitivity player and always lifting the mouse. So that might be useful for you, not really useful for me, but it might for you. So now, what do I think about the mouse? 
I think at around thirty dollars, it's probably the best value gaming mouse right now. I mean, it has good switches. The K eight point O has DC sensor, the twenty three seventy sensor. It has RGB, tri mode wireless along with Bluetooth and what the normal wired. It has a very good shape. I mean, there's very little not to like about the mouse. Sure, the build quality is perfect. I mean, it has sense, a bit of sensor deviation, and then the side button are not exactly the best. The mouse kits, I wouldn't even consider it to be very good. Should replace the mouse kits, but overall, for a lightweight 70 gram mouse, there's really not much to complain. At this rate, I'm only nitpicking the mouse. There are mouse that cost 200 and 300 ringgit and still not having the feature of this very cheap mouse. I mean, make no mistake, as far as comparison goes, the, the Super Lite is definitely so much better than this mouse. It has, you know, better build quality, the clicks for me always feels better, it has better shape. However, the mouse also is three, more than three times the price actually. So the M800 Pro gets my seal of approval, uh, especially if you're like me, looking for a, a secondary mouse, or maybe you're on a tight budget, looking for a good, cheap gaming mouse, this is probably your best bet. And I've noticed that if you live in around Southeast Asia region, you have access to like Shopee or Lazada, you can get the M800 Pro at a very decent price from the Dulux official store. And you guys, like always, do the usual YouTube stuff, you know, like, subscribe, you know, comment down below if you have any questions. Uh, otherwise, see you guys next time. Ciao.